All right, as the head coach of the Beavs, Scott Ruick, joins us tonight on Sports Report. Coach, congratulations on, on what's already been another record-setting season in Corvallis. Ruth Hamblin came on the show last week and told Mike Yam and I, yeah, it is Final Four or bust. I know you have to take things one game at a time, but what's your initial reaction to your path to Indianapolis? <laughs> well, we're excited uh, to be anywhere in this thing, and, and I'm so happy for this team, you know, to earn a two seed uh, through what they've accomplished this year and the way they've done it to find a way to win, you know, the, the toughest conference in the country this year is really remarkable and really happy for them. And so, you know, our, our path, I don't think there's an easy path uh, to Indy, no question. There's so many great teams. And, and so for us, it's going to be exactly like the, the Pac-12 tournament was, and that's one possession at a time, understanding that everybody's going to rise and play their best basketball, and, and we need to play bigger uh, than that and find a way to win. And, and that happens possession by possession doing what we do. And so um, certainly we want to go deep. Coach, we talk so much as we look at the bracket about teams that have a home court advantage. But to be at Gill and you think about the entourage that drove four and a half hours to get to Seattle and the crowd you had a year ago in the NCAA tournament, how much of an advantage is it and how much is that place going to rock for you guys? <laughs> uh, I'm happy to see Friday, Sunday, I'll be honest with that. I, uh, you know, we had over 5,000 here on a Monday last year, and so Sunday it should be even better. And so we just came across the street from being with several hundred uh, Beaver fans. We are spoiled uh, by them. And so to earn a home site and to know that you're going to have probably more than five to six, seven thousand people in there. Uh, if you can get out of the first one, two games this weekend is really something to look forward to and certainly an advantage for us. You know, all season long, we've talked about the play of Jamie Wisner, Ruth Hamblin playing great down the stretch, but Sid Weiss missed those eight games and now really playing her best basketball of her career. How big of a lift does that give you coming into the tournament? I completely agree. And, you know, it was interesting. I don't know what was tougher, losing her or the re-entry. And, and it's kind of funny to say that, but I thought it took us a couple weeks really to get comfortable and for her to get comfortable moving back in since we had handled her, you know, her loss or the loss of her so well. And uh, now, yeah, I think you saw the last month, we really are, are clicking and Sid is playing extremely well. And what I've loved is she's really defending at, at a different level. I, I've loved her defense and our defense collectively has, has been you know, our staple and, and who we are. And we're, we're playing the best defense that an Oregon State team's played since I've been here. And, and that's saying something. And so Sid uh, getting back into the flow and getting back into the rhythm has, has been so key to us. And she played just great basketball in Seattle. And I know that will continue. Well, Scott, I do know there are a lot of happy Oregon State Hoops fans right now. I know you congratulated Wayne Tinkle for earning the program's first bid in 26 years on the men's side. Fantastic buzz in Corvallis. We wish you nothing but the best in the NCAA tournament. And thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. It's an exciting time for us all.